In 4.3, our goal is to be able to add and subtract radical expressions and complex numbers, as well as a review on adding and subtracting polynomials. So for our first example, we have this plus sign in the middle. This plus sign is only going to distribute to the terms after it. So we have 9x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9. When I distribute a positive, it leaves the signs alone. So it'll stay a positive 3x squared, it'll stay a positive 9x, and this will stay a minus 7. We then combine like terms. This one is cubed. I look for any other cubes. There are no other cubes. 9x cubed. Then I have squares. Squared. 6 plus 3 makes 9x squared. Then I have a single x, and I have a minus 7 and a plus 9. So 9 minus 7 is a plus 2. And this has been simplified. We have found the sum of the two polynomials. Alright, we have the plus sign in the middle. 7x cubed plus 9x squared plus 4. The positive will leave our signs alone, so positive 2x squared plus 7x to the minus 10. All of these stay the same signs. I have a cubed, no other cubes. Squared, here's another squared, so 9, 10, 11. 11x squared. A single x. And I have a minus 10 and a plus 4. That makes a minus 6. Plus sign in the middle. 2x cubed minus 1x squared plus 1. After that, the signs are going to stay the same. Keep the 9x cubed the same and minus 7. All these signs stay. I have a cubed. And, hey, another cubed, 9, 10, 11. 11x cubed, squared. I have a negative 1x squared, plus 7. Negative 1 plus 7 makes 6. And then I don't have any single x's. I have a 1 and a minus 7, that makes a minus 6. So that was finding the sum. Now we're gonna find the difference. So when you look in the center, there's a minus sign. So 9x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9. This minus sign is gonna switch all of my signs after it. So this will become a minus 3x squared, this will become a minus 9x, and this will become a plus 7. Cubed. Squared and squared, 6 minus 3 is 3x squared. I have a single minus 9x, and then a plus 7 and a plus 9. 9 plus 7 makes a positive 16. I have this minus sign in the center. I distribute it to the end. That changes this to a minus 2x squared, change that to a minus 7x, and change the 10 to a plus 10. x cubed squared 9 minus 2, 9, 8, 7. I have a single x, and then I have a plus 4 and a plus 10. That makes 14. I have my minus sign in the center. So everything after that minus sign, I'm going to switch signs. Negative 7x minus 9x cubed, and this becomes a plus 7. x cubed, x cubed, 2 minus 9. Then I have a squared and a squared. 
negative 1 minus 7 makes negative 8. And I don't have any single x's. I then have a 1 and a plus 7, which makes a plus 8. We are now going to evaluate with complex numbers. When you look in the center, notice there's a plus sign. Plus sign will leave our signs alone. So this will stay a plus 3, this will stay a plus 4i. I could then can combine, I have this minus 7 plus 3. 7, 6, 5, 4, that'd be a negative 4. 4i plus 4i makes eight eyes. Plus sign. I leave the front alone. Uh, plus sign means these will stay their same signs. They're not going to switch. Four minus two is two. Eight plus five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen eyes. Plus sign, 1 minus 4i, this will stay a minus 7, this will stay a minus 6i. 1 minus 7 is negative 6, negative 4, oh, that looks like a plus sign now. Negative 4 minus 6 makes a negative 10i. We have our center. I look in the middle, it's a plus. 2 minus 7i. The plus sign will leave this a plus 12 and a plus 19i. It won't change it. 2 plus 12 is 14. Negative 7 plus 19. Um, so, like, because we can't type i in, it is completely fine to type negative 7 plus 19 is 12 plus 12. You just have to remember that even though you can't type i on your calculator, you can still add the values together. You just need to put the i on the correct term. So I have a negative. This is going to switch it up. So 2 minus 7i stays the same. And then anything after that negative is going to switch signs. So I get minus 12 minus 19i. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. Negative 7 minus 19 is negative 26i. I have a plus sign. Plus signs will leave alone. So 21 minus. 16i, this will stay a plus 12, this will stay a plus 10i. 21 plus 12 makes 33. Negative 16 plus 10 makes a minus 6i. We have a minus sign. So 21 minus 16i is fine, but anything after will switch. So minus 12 minus 10i. 21 minus 12, 9, and then negative 16 minus 10 would be negative 26, hi. Alright, these ones, I love these ones. So when we square root negative 49, it gets mad, right? You can't square root a negative. So we square root 49. And it is a 7. If that is a 7, that means I have 13 minus 7i plus negative 2 plus the square root of 121 is 11. And because of that negative, we place an i on it. And if you notice, the one right below it, 49, 49, is the same thing. 13 minus, this is a 7 with an i on it, minus negative 2 plus, that would be 11 with an i on it. 
And then once we've fixed those roots, we can combine. So 13 minus 7i, this will stay a minus 2, this will stay a plus 11i. 13 minus 2 is 11, negative 7 plus 11. 7 is plus 4i. And then we have a minus sign between them, which will make this into a plus 2 and a minus 11i. 13 plus 2 is 15. Negative 7 minus 11 makes a negative 18i. Simplifying irrational numbers completely. Okay, we have 5 square root 45. Well, 5 square root 45 is 15 root 5. And then I have minus... 5 root 5. Based off of that, because my roots match, 15 minus 5 equals 10 root 5s. So let's check the next one. I have 10 root 5. 5 won't simplify. Um, but I do have negative 18 square root 125 negative 90 root 5. Now that my roots match, I can do 10 minus 90. That would be negative 80 root 5s. So we have to have the same number in the root to combine like terms. All right, I have 11 root z, minus 10 root z. These already match, they're both root z's. So 11 minus 10 is one root z. Question D, my roots match. 11 plus 10 equals 21 root x's. And nine root three, root three cannot reduce. The square root of 48 is 4 root 3. So they're both root 3's. 9 plus 4 is 13 root 3's. And 8 root 48. 8 square root 48 is 32 root 3. 32 root 3 plus 5 root 3, my roots match, so there are 32 plus 5, that'd be 37 root 3s.